What's going on, everybody? This is Jay Pixel coming at you with another video. And this one, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the new II Arcade permanent time fix. Now, I'm going to show you what we did before, and then we're going to go and show you how to fix it permanently. So far, this is by Honky Kong in uh, the Paxorus Discord. I appreciate it all his work and uh, get a shout out to him this is all his work I had nothing to do with this I'm just showing you how to do it and hopefully that helps you if this just give you a quick little step by step and what you got to do and hopefully get you back going if you have the time issue what the time issue is it, it reverts back to like 2013 on your I arcade and every time you reset it now this what we used to do is come over here and we run the I config file and then there was an option you select your device you have to have the MIA board installed from mystery encoders uh, team encoder uh, so if you don't have that this won't work so preference you have to have that hooked up to your PC and then it's a, this will see it and then uh, you could do this the old way it would pop up show up and then you would hit fix clock and then it would fix clock pretty simple uh, before then you had to write a bash code and or or just write out out a code and and uh, by hand like it's like a DOS prompt and then that would fix it until you reboot again so this made that simpler so another step is hopefully the next step we, we do here will uh, fix it permanently so what it's called is I arcade time fix and uh, from what Honky Kong is saying he, he's going to update I config eventually so it would be built into here so this is just a just breaking that this is working I can confirm that it's working but let's get to it so first off you I'll give you it's called IRK time fix uh, I'll have the link in the description of the Google Drive it's just a small little zip file when you unzip it this is what you get so if you don't know how to unzip things you're gonna have to look that up uh, once you do this, it's going to be in a folder like this, and you're going to see these four files. All you have to do is hit the permanent clock fix bat file. Double click that. Now, you know, he says you have to have your iArcade um, cl uh, connected to Wi Fi. So I'm going to switch over to um, the, the iArcade real quick here. So in settings, uh, if you see at the top, you're going to go all over to settings, and then you're going to go into Wi Fi. And then you want to click on Wi-Fi and make sure you're set to your personal Wi-Fi uh, in your house or wherever you're at. And then once you have that set, that's um, then you should be able to get this to work. So make sure that is set first. And then we're going to go back over here. And then we're going to run this. And then you're going to get a prompt like this. All right. And that's going to ask you what your time zone is and then you're going to select I am in the Eastern time zone so I'm going to select one say okay processing um, then it that's it he says clock should be fixed now uh, double check it we're going to switch back over check up in the left hand corner it says March 21st 2024 and that is correct for this date so that's it that's all you have to do and you should be able to um, yeah, uh, use, uh, I think the turtles uh, needed that, and I guess Ant Stream and anything that's relying on the time uh, will work now. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you find this useful, I appreciate if you leave a comment, if you give me a like, and you subscribe. I'm really close to getting those thousand subs, and uh, any 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 sub helps, and I appreciate. Appreciate you leaving comments. Like I said, if you need more help, go to the Paxor Us Discord. Uh, Honky Kong is the one making this, uh, and he's doing a great job. I won't go over there and give him a shout out and thank him for all his hard work for the arcade community. And until next time, we'll see you later.